Well, you know, one way to save money when it comes to your car is to keep up with routine maintenance. Be honest, Jimmy. When was the last time you actually walked around your car to the back to make sure your brake lights are working? Well, see, therein lies the problem. I can't really push the pedal and go check the lights at the same time. Oh. So, that's a good point. <laughs> well, Delmar Life Sean Stryker stopped by Sherwood of Salisbury to find out some of the most commonly overlooked items when it comes to your car maintenance. Whether it's to get to work or pick up the kids, many of us rely on our vehicles to be ready to go. So it's important that our vehicles are in good working condition. And that starts with preventative maintenance. When you get your vehicle, everybody has an owner's manual. You know, we, we invest uh, 15, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 in a car, and nobody reads the owner's manual. So definitely go to your owner's manual, flip to the maintenance side, make sure that you follow the maintenance schedule. Matt Romanowski is the general manager of Sherwood of Salisbury. He says with how busy everyone is, it can be easy to overlook that schedule. So oil changes especially, you know, if you're like me, wife, three kids, we're running around doing all different types of stuff, and a lot of times you tend to forget that, and uh, clearly that's one of the one of the ones that uh, I would highly recommend uh, getting your oil changed uh, to whatever your maintenance schedule is. Uh, you know, you can get, usually get in and out in 30 minutes. That 30 minutes could help save you from serious problems down the road. With oil changes, the two words you never want to hear, catastrophic engine failure. Anytime you have failure and catastrophic in the same sentence, it's not good. Matt says it's also important to get your tires rotated. Now it's recommended you get this done every other oil change or about every 5,000 miles. Taking the time to rotate your tires helps them wear evenly and gives your mechanic the chance to check for other issues that could leave you stranded. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna have any of those issues of being stuck on the side of the road and paying for a towing bill and, and having some other major issues happen to your car. If you have trouble remembering to get the recommended maintenance done, Matt says to keep an eye on the warning lights on your dashboard. There's even apps that can help remind you when it's time for scheduled maintenance. So you can plug your information into basically how many miles you drive a year and it'll remind you to take care of those certain maintenance schedules and you can plug your maintenance schedule into it as well and it just reminds you on your phone. There are even a few things you can check at home to see if you should visit your mechanic. One of the things is just make sure you're checking all your fluids, you know, again with your oil, pull your dipstick out, check to make sure it's, it's there, your washer fluid, things of that nature. Um, biggest thing, belts and hoses, check in, make sure everything's nice and tight inside your engine, um, look for cracks, anything that's leaking. A lot of times the biggest telltale is if you have a garage or you don't or you're parked outside to kind of when you pull out make sure that there's nothing dripping other than you know something coming from the AC or the exhaust which is typical. Um, those types of things you got to keep an eye on. And of course, don't forget about your taillights. Typically, we find out when uh, when the police officer has pulled you over, and that's when you find out your lights are your lights are out. So it's always good, maybe once a month, to get around, have somebody in your car, just kind of hit all the lights, and make sure they work. Matt says you can ask for a multi-point inspection, which checks everything from tread depth to your windshield wipers, and provides a comprehensive report card to the owner, letting them know when they can expect to need certain maintenance. And it's that kind of attention to detail that Matt says will help you ensure you get the best return on your investment. If you're the type of person that trades it in every three, four, five years, you want high trade-in value. And the best way to do that is to keep your car maintained. Now, one other thing that you need to remember to check, especially now that temperatures are changing, your tire air pressure. Oh, absolutely. It yeah. can affect your gas mileage yes. as well. 